Welcome back guys to Cooking with Cal. Um, today we're gonna make some pulled pork. So it takes about two and a half to three hours. 750 grams of pork I've got. I'm gonna rub it, bake it, take it back out, put it into some foil, wrap it, and it'll just cook in its own juices for two hours. Uh, all the ingredients I've been using will be in the description box below, down there somewhere. Um, have a little look. Also, um, guys, I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, lockdown is getting a bit boring now, but guys, we've got to do it. So we've got to stick together. We've got to stay home. Let's stop the spread, really. It's just getting really bad out there, and I really, really hope everybody is looking after themselves. And guys, keep yourself occupied. Try some of these recipes. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff going on on YouTube, and yeah, just keep yourself occupied. Keep the kids occupied and stay safe. Um, yeah, here we go, let's do it. Right guys, have a look inside there. We've got a mix of all the spices that I'm going to be applying to the pork. These are all in tablespoons now, so it's half a tablespoon of cumin, uh, a quarter tablespoon of chilli flake. You can add as much chilli as you like. Uh, just my little boy's going to eat it, so I don't want it too spicy. Um, I've got uh, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of garlic, half a tablespoon of ginger powder, Half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of salt. I've got half an oxo cube. Any oxo cube you want, chicken, beef, lamb, whatever oxo cube, adds for flavour. Um, uh, half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of curry powder, and a quarter spoon of garam masala. All in here. Um, I will list all the ingredients in the description, guys. Um, so, guys, this is what we're going to do next now. We're going to mix it all up now. So, take your uh, powders, get your spoon, give it a good mix so they're all blended in together. Guys, it's all mixed up. Pork joint. Stick a tablespoon of oil over the top. So, you apply the tablespoon of oil over the top. It's going to help. All the spices stick to the pork joint. So now apply all the rub all over. All in there. Okay, that's done. Guys, I'm gonna rub it all in now because I want it covered. Slap it all in, rub it all up. Alright. Get all these flavours in there. And that's all you want. So guys, this needs to be covered, alright? So get all the flavours can penetrate inside the, the joint of meat. And to be honest with you, it's, it's not ideal. You can just pop it in the oven, cook it, let it cook away, when you play with the children. Because to be honest with you, my little boy, he's been getting so bored and he just wants to play all the time, which I can't blame him. Guys, what I'm gonna do now, so I've just washed my hands. Uh, my joint of pork is covered with flavors, as you can see. And I'm just gonna drop a touch of water in the bottom. Not even much, I just don't want it to burn. Some of the flavors have got in there. I literally got a touch of water in there. Guys, and I've set the gas on gas mark 220. It pop it in. But first, we're going to do it for about half an hour, 30 minutes. So we're going to check that in 30 minutes. What we want, if we want all the spices and the herbs to penetrate into the meat. And it causes like a little crust over the top. And then I'll show you what happens next. Right, guys, we're back now. So this has been in for about 30 minutes now. Have a look at that. The skin's just popped up, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna turn it upside down now so it sits flat on the skin. Because you wanna render all the fat out. But yeah, you can see all the flavors that are caramelizing now. So we're gonna put it back in for another half an hour. I just want to check, just to see how it works. So yeah, we're gonna pop that back into the oven. But before I do, you can see the water I had in there previously is dried up. Well, you can't really see it much on the camera. But um, yeah, it's dried up a bit. So we're gonna add some water into that. Exactly the same amount as we did earlier, guys. Just a little quarter of water. Get it in there. It'll keep the meat moist just by adding that bit of water. So we'll pop that back in. We're gonna give it another 30 minutes. All right, guys, we've just got the joint back out now. So in total, it's been in for an hour. It's all lovely caramelized, all the spices all around it. All right, guys, next stage. So the joint is out. Get another oven tray. Pop that next to it. Put some foil at the bottom. Just like that, put the foil in now. So because it's quite hot, pop it into the foil. Uh, that way there. Get your cloth. Right guys, you know the extra juices that's come from this pan. Get them all in there. Get it all over the top. Oh, I'll do all that. Get 
كتار اللي لبني جبي All the flavors in Don't waste these flavors All the flavors are in there now Try and keep all the juices in when you're doing this. Now, guys, I'm folding it, fold it, and wrap it. All right. Get some more foil. Get that joint out now. Get some more foil in the tray. Let's get that one back in. I'm gonna turn it the other way now. It's all tight, sealed, and roll it. All right, that's one wrap. Another wrap over the top. I got to rem remember to make sure it's nice and tight. This is to save all the juices from going everywhere. Pop that in there. There we are, guys. Our joint the pork is now wrapped up, sealed, and the open side. See the open flap? Try and put that at the top there. This is the easy bit now. We're gonna pop it back into the oven. Gas mark 220. I just chill out and we'll deal with it in two hours. See you in a bit. Right guys, to go with our pulled pork, we're gonna make our own wraps. So it's made out of plain flour and water. Obviously the consistency needs to be right to make the dough balls. We'll do that in another video one day. So yeah, once you make them, roll them and cook them. That's how you do it, guys. Ooh, guys, we're back. Um, pulled pork is now out the oven. As you can see, that's boiling hot, so I'm going to be careful opening this now. Okay. Ooh, there we are, guys. There's our joint of pork. And let that just flake away. Flake away, guys. Juicy pork. There we are, guys. We've got the nice bit of skin. Pork, pork. Right, guys. Poor pork is ready. Skin is ready, and that's come out perfect. Nice and crackling. You hear that crack? I have a cheeky bite, anyway. Wraps are ready. Now for some sauce. We'll do three hefty spoons of mayonnaise, garlic powder, one half teaspoon, quarter glass of water, salt, get yourself a whisk, mix that in. There you have it guys, garlic mayonnaise. Some cheese slices. Salad. Alfie squeeze a lemon. Mink of salt. Bit of pepper. Drink of paprika. Do a good mix. Some salad here. Right? Homemade pulled pork wraps.